Hi, my name is Neil, and today I'm going to be showing you my gradient descent program. As you can see here, my gradient descent program is uploaded on Git, and it's completely open source. So over here, we're in, I'm importing the plotting interface, which is Bokeh, and the plotting library, which is Bokeh, and the library random to help me create random values. So with the code. So the, these are the coefficients of the straight line that you that I build my scatter plot around. This is what I've set them for now. Start of the line. This is bokeh needs a start to plot the line and the end to plot the line, and then it draws a line between one plot, one dot to the other. How far away the points can be on the on the y-axis so you have a line you have this line and then you need to figure out how basically bulky the gen the scatter plot will be will it be really skinny or bigger and then this n is how many points you're gonna create and this is the range of rent this is how you can where you can pick on the bottom so then you go up to pick. So you pick it randomly and then you pick random with the plus minus to create a randomly generated point. So this is the error limit. The end val the end product of gradient descent will have an error that is less than this limit. And this learning rate. Before we talked about that skier analogy. This learning rate is basically how much the skier skis down each time before it redirects its skis to the angle of the slope. This f figure, this f is a is the figure object. Right. So this now this is plotting the line on which you originally make the steps scatter plot over. You need A, B, X1, X, and color. So color, it's just you want color for fun. And Y and this X will calculate the Y, y and X1 will calculate the Y1 and these two will make a point and these two will make a point and they connect it. This is generating the scatter plot. And you have all these variables, and it makes points, which will be a list of tuples. So this this makes sure that it runs exactly how many times n is. And then x2 is random from x min to x max. And then you have py, which calculates where the line will be at that point, because you have a up here. Because you have A, which you enter here, and it'll calculate where that line will be. And then over here, you do this m minus the random pl plus or m minus, depending on if, if it's negative or plus or positive, and you pick something. And then you append a list of x1 and y1. And at the end, you return points. Now, this is plotting the scatter plot. The, this is uh, it plots a little tiny circle, and this is for x, y, and points. So x, y is a tuple, so you have to call this, and that's how you plot. It. Now, this figure out your error. So for x, y, and points, you have a and b. And then you have points. So the y, the y is calculated from the this point. The y equals this of the x of that point, and then the average error equals this. It equals that y minus the real. Why? Because here you're generating a whole new A and B to try on your points. And then that's times two 
plus the average error because you're going to divide it by the length of points later to get the average. So we're doing we're doing it to the power 2 because that gets it to a positive number. And actually, even though this is less accurate than doing abs, it's an easier operation to do and it actually makes it easier for the computer because instead of it being uh, like not so much slopey, it'll have a steeper slope. So that's how calculates the hour. Error. Now, this is the average error of your slope. So, I, I will explain this better in my next video, but this calculates the slope of the AG and BG, the A guess and B guess and the air graph, which was basically the graph of the three dimensional mountain. So it calculates the slope when you, it gives you points and, a, and the A guess and the B guess. And then it calculates, it, it sets, the error and then over here it's a bunch of calculations and then it returns you a to a list of the average error of a and the average error of b so when you plot the line so you're plot i'm plotting the line that's built around the scatter plot so this is Simply just plotting the scatter plot and the line which you originally built the scatter plot, which I showed you about. So this is nothing related to gradient descent. Now I'm decreating, declaring the variables for gradient descent, GDA and GDB. And I is the numbers of it. Uh, this it is the bunch of iteration that this calculates the iterations and max i is the max iterations which i put thousand so while error of gd and points of, of gd uh, while the error of gda and gdv is less than your is greater than your error limit and i is less than max I, then you will keep on doing it. So first thing, I equals I plus one. And then ASE is average slope error. And then print, this is just something that is like, that you can look, that's information in the terminal. This utilizes the average slope error function. So you have GDA and GDB, and then you figure out the error of that slope. You can find out the error of the a the um, the axis with a and axis with b, and then you multiply it by the learning rate so that you ski down a little bit in the right direction. And then here you're plotting the line for each iteration. And here you plot the end product of gradient descent, which is black so that you can differentiate it. Now this prints the original A and B and the error. Surprising part is the original A and B have more error than the end value. And then I just save it in a bokeh plot so then I can, so then you can view it. So this is my gradient descent program and I know you, I let you thinking with the average slope error, but I, I will explain it better in my next video. Please thank, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'm Neil Kumar.